remove the traces of our gene seed from the bodies of the aliens. So Grandmaster Belial vowed to destroy everything instead. To do so, we had to slow the oncoming tide of Xenos, far too many for even the Deathwing to hold back, with physical weapons. A mutagenic virus unleashed by the Tech Marines slowed their assaults, while machine spirit-guided cats scoured the space hulk for more evidence of the gene seed. A modified cat was deployed to recover vital gene data, but the situation in the Space Hulk and especially around Caliban's will was increasingly desperate. The longer we remained, the closer the Tyranid hive ships approached. What about you folks? Lost row. Welcome to LSD Blaze. Back playing Deathwing. Space Hulk Deathwing. And uh, we're still in, uh, if you've been following the series, we're still in Caliban's will. I hope you're following the series, because otherwise this will make no sense whatsoever. The viral attack has been successful. So, still not yet victorious. the virus attack in the last one, there was no enemies after we, we launched it, which was pretty cool. Halted. I have devised a plan to overload the reactors and destroy the Alethros, but mm, that is a big level. To vital gene seed this looks like fun. The conflagration consumes everything. Modified cat has been deployed to recover lost gene data. And a sample Be nice if they explained what a cat was. Brother, I need you to retrieve the cat before we can begin with the complete destruction of the Alethros. Um, it's probably something really obvious, but um, it escapes me right now. Anyway, here they are, the lads. <laughs> oh dear. The one thing I did notice in the last episode at some stage, I think, is that um, is this. And this is a banner, from what I remember. This is the banner for the Deathwing. As you can see, it's a mountain getting... It's just awesome. Some of the artwork for, for the Dark Angels, I think, is just incredible. Do yourself a favour and go and check out the... Uh, just type in Dark Angels and just type in artwork next to it. It is absolutely incredible just to see some of it all this sort of stuff is just awesome i think this is one of the things that attracted me to the dark angels chapter when i first started playing or painting the the little miniatures i just think they've got an awesome and a lot of the chapters are the same blood angels base wolves they're all they're all cool but dark angels just just have that sort of mystique about them so let's just check the settings this is ongoing this issue with the uh, graphics the video Screen calibration, it seems to be okay. Back, I can guarantee you though, you know what, is not probably just since loading the next chapter. Yeah, there you go. It resets your spells, which is just absolute insanity. It's Inferno, we're gonna go for it, we're gonna go for uh, we're gonna go for that one. Skip chain lightning, it's absolutely rubbish. And Spirit Caliban was pretty cool. Don't think I need to mess around with that. Give him the plasma cannon again. It's reset the weapon he was using, and storm bolt is fine for him. That's cool. So two plasma cannons. I like the plasma cannon on the last level. I might change it up. I don't know. We'll see how we get on during this level. And then um, returns indicate an impressive number of gene stealers. That's pretty cool. Light off his helmet. I've just noticed. Ooh, our mechanical alloy. What's at this point? Oh, we're getting assaulted already. Wow. These guys absolutely love it. <laughs> yeah, you can't argue with the uh, the plasma, the heavy plasma cannon. It is, it is very powerful. But very inaccurate, of course, as you'd expect. So enemies can spawn in these. Wonderful. You wonder if this guy's going to ambush me. Perhaps the um, perhaps the enemy AI is a little bit smarter than the. Oh, that's a bloody gu gun in there, isn't it? Uh, scan. It's not enabled. Okay, we can. I think we can get through here very quickly. So let's block these guys. I don't want to hang around here for too long. Quick check of the map. Oh, never mind. That's an enemy. What way do we need to go? Okay, we we need to go through this way. Let's just uh, get through here. We can't close that. But we can close this. 
we get these lads through. Come on, lads. Close the door, dude. Now, look at this. What have we got up here? Looks like a... That looks like a turret. Quick scan. Um, I think we'll uh, we'll keep that cannon there, but um, that is a bit worrying. That's massive. Fight! <laughs> oh, this is the same area. We, I think we were in this uh, part of the ship before. This is a bit cheap. If it is just the same thing. There we are. Oh no, he's still alive! Wow. So. Not yet. They're not. But they will. Try not to do single shots. God, they take an absolute beating now. I don't know what the fly thing is. I'd love if, you, if somebody can explain to me what the flies are. You sort of see them the odd time when you're fighting lots of gene stealers. Maybe it's uh, off their bodies. Maybe they're covered in plague and pestilence and things. That's an automated turret right there. Oh boy. We can uh, get them coming at us in a straight line. There we go. There we go. Outside of a barn, right? This is a nice little line we've got, defensive line we've got here. Oh, and that's not a good sign, is it? Okay, with a cooldown on the abilities, that's not good. But he's still going. Oh, um, heal yourself, dude. Oh, he's dead. That's good. I think we locked out there just with the sheer range that he was trying to attack us from, which was good. Yep, that is no good, even at, uh... Good lord, dude, come on. Hit him with a melee, I think. See if this just pulls something stupid like you're supposed to be fighting them on the spot, I would be pissed off. Nah, it must be, it must be. Yeah, it is actually. Just notice the thing at the top there. There's just always so much going on, on the screen, it's hard to pay attention to actually what the on screen doodads are, are saying. More. I think there is quite a bit of padding in the game, which is a bit of a shame. And I've just got a sneaking suspicion that this is actually the last mission, but I hope not. I hope there's more. Even though I do seem to be giving off about it in every uh, every single mission. There we go. And hopefully this isn't as tough as the last two missions, because... There we are, there we go. Ooh, that's a big boy. Yeah, we don't want to get hit by that guy. Um, I'll take a heal. Ow, that hurts. Ow, that's... It's the little guys, we need to get rid of these little dudes that are... Um, you're gonna need to heal him, dude. Oh, never mind, he's dead. 
Yes, that's because he's dead. <laughs> the countdown, sorry, he's dead. Oh, I think... I'm hoping. I think that's it. It is happy days. The, cat for the gene stealers are beyond counting and cannot be slain by Bolter and Blade alone. You must execute an orderly retreat, but before leaving the Caliban's will, you must locate and retrieve the cat and the vital data it has gathered. Perhaps the secrets of the Legion gene seed hold the means to avoid the catastrophe predicted by the librarians. Thanks for that little talking skull. Oh, I've got to smash this door, unfortunately, and there's a dude on the other side of this. And I'm hoping that turret is deactivated as well. Can we just get a quick map reference? We can, but there's nothing here. Let's just go this way. I wonder if there are actually, I didn't read at the start, I probably should have if there's actually relics here, because, um, or if it's just the uh, the same relics that uh, we picked up from last time. Let's get out of here, dude. This door can be sealed, and that is exactly what we're going to do. Oh, that's not a good noise. Seal the door, dude. And this is not a happy place to be in either, to be fair, but, um... Okay, so we're going top right, okay. Top right in this room, as quick as you can, dude. Do not fail. Yeah, this is... This is a bit cheap if this is the last level, because this is definitely the level we did. I think this is level four. Possibly five? Not sure. Lock that door. And we can't lock this door. <laughs> That's nice. I may have to jump into a side gate here if things get a bit hairy, because... we I wonder if that gun's taken out. I think it is. Wow. Oh, it's a psyker. Oh, my legs. Jesus. Give a heal. There we go. I guess we can't. Yeah, I think the turret's down. It is. Let's just um, get in here. And then uh, probably get out of here. Yeah, there's another Psyker. Dude, come on. Oh, seriously, come on, dude. Are you serious? What is going on with this stupid AI? Come on. Absolutely ridiculous. It really is. The AI is just so ridiculous. Now, the plan was to close this door and just lock it until I got whatever I needed to get done. But this is just so stupid. We probably could just go and get that, but... I just want to make sure we don't have... I think we do have enemies down there as well, but... Yeah, let's just lock this door. There we go. That's all I wanted to do. Can we get him to heal himself as well? <coughs> yeah, this is where we fought the uh, Broodlord. Oh, and we've got dudes down here as well. This was supposed to be secured. They, s they set up a, br a bridgehead here, but... Apparently not. Weapons jammed, of course. And we're covered. Right, what are we doing here? Okay, that was easy. Shield of Caliban. Don't know what that is. Maybe an actual shield or something that fits on his armor. Yep. Okay. Cat secure. Bring it to the extraction point. Okay. Oh, look at this thing. Now. 
I'm going to hope. I'm going to hope that this stupid thing does not have health and that it is just invincible. Because if it does. Oh, it can't even get upstairs. Come on. What do you. Do I have to stand beside it? We do. Look at the state of this little thing. <laughs> Cat. I wonder what that stands for. You can open the door. You need me to open the door? <laughs> Here we go. I wonder if I should uh, launch a side gate. Not yet. Let's see what happens. It will have saved there anyway, so we don't need to particularly launch a side gate just yet. That's it. Well, it's moving anyway. Hopefully it's going to get out of this room pretty quickly. Because we're surrounded. Pretty cool though. Cool wee robot dude. I suppose I should really be keeping an eye out for enemies, but... Come on. Come on, little fella. We're getting there. We're getting there. Hopefully he's going for that busted door. No. Where's he going? Oh, he's going to you here. have to stay in a close perimeter around the cat to protect it while it hacks the lock. <sighs> of course. I think we might have to launch a side gate here just to... Uh, it's going pretty quick. from that direction, so... Jesus! That's a pretty cool ability, isn't it? Like a fireball. Um, I might actually need to heal, I think, real quick. Let's keep it on that door, dude. Oh, I'm just coming from the one direction so far. Yeah, we sneaky bugger. Oh, another one. Yeah, I'm trying not to use the. Uh, I'm not trying not to overheat the uh, the gun. Down to fifteen percent. I can, I can sort of keep it manageable if you just tap it. If you hold it in, you're screwed. I think we go, we're okay. We actually don't need to launch a side gate, which is good. Oh, whatever. Mine is jammed. This sneaky bugger. Another one. Now it's jammed again. Oh, flames. There we go. I took a good bit of damage there, actually, which is... Oh, more. Oh, he took a bit. What is with these flies? If somebody can tell me what the flies are about, I'd love to know. Does it mean there's a psyker in the area, or...? Oh, oh no, that's not good. I can do the heal, dude. Oh, wow! I'm actually surprised we survived that. In all honesty, but I think that's it. I think we're good. A few stragglers. Oh, nice. 
That's pretty cool. <laughs> Look at this dude. He's doing a perfect wee nail. Oh, nice one. And we are through. Come on, dude. Oh. There we go. Oh, this is not good. Tense moment. Hopefully that's that was hopefully that was a safe point. Oh boy. Oh, happy days. Oh, nice one dude. He's doing really well. He's actually doing really well, I'm quite surprised. Now, do you see a problem here? This dude just went all the way around when he could have just turned left. This little robot. That's it dude, come on. Oh, um, what the hell? <sighs> I like this. Your precognition abilities warn you that you've been terminated by a stalker strain gene stealer. Okay, we're back in the room. And we're back... Uh, Back following the wee dude down this corridor, and the corridor, I thought maybe there was something blocking the corridor there, but it's perfectly fine. Uh, let's just get as many headshots on this dude as we can. There we go. Actually doesn't take too many hits, they're not the bird lords, they are the, uh, I think they used to be called Carnifexes. But uh, for whatever reason in this, they're not called Carnifexes. Maybe they don't call them that anymore. So, I think this is where we got to, and I got pretty much taken out instantaneously once we got through this door. So let's uh, let's get this dude to lock this door again. Safety first. Yeah, that's right, I was too busy looking at these dudes and then a bunch of stalkers just... Holy crap, and I'm nearly dead again. Yeah, it's a psycho up there. Dude, they are just getting so many headshots on me, it's ridiculous. I'm slightly scared. Take him out, because I can't hit him with this to save my life. At all. Oh, right, I think what we're going to do is launch a little side gate here. Just to, um... Just to get a save point, because... Ow. Yep, these dudes are seriously taking the piss. Okay. So we've got our dude back. And I think... Let's just take a look at the armor piece that we unlocked. <coughs> so as you can see, the different pieces have been... These are, these are unlockable pieces of armor. I've got new pieces of my legs, arms. The... I think that's a new piece there. I'm not 100%. Um, a helmet would be handy. Probably wouldn't die as much from headshots. <laughs> it's uh, it's like Robocop. It's uh, it makes no sense, but it's uh, it's cool looking, I guess. I'd have a helmet though if it was me. And uh, I don't think we have. Uh, let's see. Mace of Absolution. No, it's. Uh, I don't know what the shield was then. Same shield. Uh, mm stick with the plasma cannon, it's very inaccurate, but um, at least, at least it's okay. Cypars are okay. Oh, did we? No, that's the loose one. Okay. Back through, and let's just uh, see what we can do. So it saves every time you come out of a little side gate, at least. There we are. No, it was two stalkers, I think, that uh, took me out. Anyway, 
I think we're going to have another little fight here. That's nice. So probably an opportune moment to uh, to use the side gate anyway. Yeah, but he's going for the locked door. That's nice of him. So maybe there is sections of this ship we just haven't seen yet. We are particularly exposed in this kind of situation. Uh, Stay on your guard. Thank you very much. Is he still... That's all right. I thought he had an assault cannon for a minute there. I was going to say, like, what the hell? <laughs> are they going to come down from there? Hopefully not. Hopefully that was just a one-off. No, dude. This guy loves exposing himself, doesn't he? He just stands out in the middle. People shoot him, take him out, and he's always the first person to die. Oh, what's... Why is my... Oh my god. So... I picked the wrong plasma cannon. <laughs> that is... Not good. This is not a good weapon. You can see the difference immediately, and just how bad this one is compared to the to the uh, the one I had there. Oh, it must be just from their bodies. The uh, the the flies. It's uh, super super slow. It needs to charge. Probably does a lot more damage, I'd say. But um, yeah, it does bigger splash damage. There we are. So it's not too bad, hopefully. Yep, there we go. Whoa! <laughs> that was a rocket launcher just flew in my head. Thankfully there's no team team damage. Yeah, it's quite actually quite good. I think the splash damage is quite nice. Fingers crossed. I don't know if you can charge it. I haven't tried charging it yet, actually, right now. Um, you'll notice, I've just noticed as well, my psychic ability there. Number three. It says 50 next to it. And it's not going down. There we are. This is actually quite good, this gun. So the veteran gun's actually not as good as the <laughs> standard one. Okay, hit him. That just went through his legs, I don't know. jammed. Nice one. It's very slow to fire, but um, it's actually not too bad at reloading. It's pretty fast at reloading. <coughs> Probably going to get one of those big dudes attacking us, I would imagine. For the left hand side. Maybe. No. Okay, fair enough. Through we go. Is that tart? Is the tart on? No tart's off. That's good. Okay, we're going this way. Do I need to I'm smash this door for him? Here he comes. Oh, I remember this place. Yeah, I wonder if um, if I locked that door and the door just and the computer and the games memorized that I actually locked it. I don't know. That'd be nice. <laughs> Thankfully, there's no damage on this thing anyway. And we've got another. No. Nope. Oh, we could have brood lord. That's not fun, come on, dude. Well, it said it was a brood lord, but it didn't. Hmm, maybe it was. Maybe it was a weaker one. Brood lord. 
I think I mentioned it in one of the previous episodes, but um, or previous chapters, but uh, Broodlords used to be called Hive Tyrants, maybe? And they used to have guns as well, these sort of bio guns. They were pretty cool. This door smashed, we can't do anything with that. Great. Well, I hope this thing is not taking us on just the most ridiculously main control. I think it's going to main control. And uh, I think I actually was there in the uh, the, f the first time I came through this chapter as well, actually. I think I went to see what, what it was all about. I think we can close this door, actually. Yes, we can indeed. Right. Let's get these guys at the ready. Oh, uh, don't lock the door yet. Lock the door. Okay, let's go. Mission accomplished, brother. Happy days. So we've probably just got the one direction they can come from. You're going to go this way, aren't you? You are going to go this way. Oh, this is pretty cool. This is a cool statue again. I like that. We are close to the final destination. Okay. Well, that door is locked. So it would be interesting to see where they can actually come from. Maybe they're going to just bust through the, the floor, perhaps? Nope. That one's jammed. Nice one. Why is that dude out there? Oh. Oh, and a brood lord. Jammed. God, this is... It does not like this plasma cannon. It actually stuns it, which is pretty good. This is actually a very good weapon for these guys. Oh, never mind. Nice one. That's him dead. I might want to heal him. Hit him. Okay, we're halfway there. Oh. And you might want to heal yourself. Complete. I think we're doing pretty good. This gun actually does make a massive bit of difference. Maybe I've just been playing the game completely wrong in terms of difficulty, but it would have been nice that they told me about this gun. Said, oh, have a go. Maybe a firing range. Because we did do a firing range at the very beginning, but I think it was only with the uh, Storm Boulder. There we go, just, that's pretty cool because you can just fire it at the ground in front of them and they just, or even that just at the, the back of them and the splash damage is pretty powerful so we can actually take the enemies out with actually even engaging them from the front. Awesome. I'm going to be surprised if there's no chaos in this. Chaos Space Marines. Basically evil space marines, sort of worshippers of uh, unholy gods, and they're space marines that have fallen into the uh, the ways of deceit and destruction and all that sort of business. Look into the lore for chaos; it's actually very interesting. And I don't think we can. Can we close this? I'll be amazed. Wow, we can actually close this. That's good. So I probably could have closed the other ones, which is interesting to know. Who's this boy? Oh, hello. Maybe it's uh, Lionel Johnson, the chapter master. What's this thing? 
Let's see if this actually has anything interesting to read for once. Reach Zarman to support War Master Horus. We have, le we have left Planet Caliban as ordered by Luther, who is commanding this operation and the combat fleet. We must reach Zaramund as soon as possible to respond to War Master Horus, Horus's request for help. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. So, as I mentioned previously in one of the chapters, Luther was supposed to... He was left behind by Lionel Johnson, which was the patriarch for... Uh, the Dark Angels. When Lionel Johnson returned to Caliban, all of the, the guns on uh, Caliban in its orbital sort of uh, setup or whatever began firing upon uh, Luth or on, on upon Lionel Johnson. But this is sort of it's this this story, this narrative is sort of saying that Luther was actually in space or in a fleet or commanding a fleet. Maybe he was on the planet commanding the fleet. I don't know, but in one of them it did mention that he returned to Caliban, which seems a bit bizarre. Let me go through here, do we, dude? No. Can you please come through the door? There we are. I wonder if we're going to get a bit more story. It'd be interesting if they have got like a bit more narrative to tell about the Dark Angels because the lore is quite um, it's quite set at this point. They don't really tend to to go back and uh, allude on the uh, the early history of a lot of the chapters. They they add bits and pieces, but generally it's the Dark Angels is pretty much set in stone. I don't think it's uh, it's ever really changed to be honest with you. They have a witch beast. They have a witch beast. Where is it? Oh no! Of course, we're out in the middle of. Oh, that's not good. There we are, and another witch beast. Oh god! You might want to heal him. Where the hell is this dude? Right, let's just keep going. I'm just saying a thought there as well. Maybe... Oh, that's handy. Maybe the Dark Angels call the Tyranids, like the different forms, a different name to uh, that, say, of like, uh, if you were to read the Tyranid Codex, which sort of gives you, well, a Codex basically is, by the way, a rule book for playing the uh, different alien races in Warhammer 40,000. And um, it'd be interesting if, like, uh, in the lore of things, how they sort of explain that there's maybe a different name or word for creatures that they don't know that they're, they're called... Um, you know, Hive Tyrants or whatever you want to call them. So you just call them Broodlords. <coughs> Destroy it says, but... Um For some reason I can't use my melee weapon which is a bit You see that? You hear that? Oh, that's why cuz my arm's been taken out. Wow, that's actually pretty cool. That's actually pretty cool. I never knew that. Okay, so he's just... is he away now? All squads, fall back to the missionary ship. Right, let's see where we've got to go to now. Well, that's handy then. He's gone. That's... Okay, we haven't got too far to go. We've just got to... go down here. Okay. Okay, we can do this. Of 
Fingers crossed. Oh. Right, let's get out of here as quickly as we can. <laughs> they won't be expecting this. They're just running. Dungeon, that's just a dungeon. Ignore that. Let's go through this door and then we can lock it, hopefully. Yep, just really quickly while there's nobody about. Come on, dude. Don't wreck about. Yeah, we could have actually gone down that corridor, but it actually made a bit more sense. Let's just quickly... Yes, if we can move down here as quickly as possible, we might actually stand a chance. Have I just gone the completely wrong way? Oh, no. I think there's... An oh, boy. This is not good. He's dead. Wow, right. Is that another one? No, it's a lesser one. There we are, right. Let's just have a quick... Um, let's just have a quick look down here, because... There must be a way, surely. Oh, there is, thank God for that, right. That wasn't just a waste. Um, heal that dude, would you, dude? Operation finished. Yeah, let's quickly go through here. I think I've been here, I think I came down to explore this area, actually. As quickly as we can, we need to get through here and just get to the exit point, I think. I've got, oh my good lord, come on, guys. It's nice to have a backup for my team, isn't it? That's it. Happy days. Ooh, an iron halo. Okay, well that was mission eight. It wasn't actually too difficult compared to the last missions. That was actually pretty uh pretty good. So there was actually a lot more relics on that level though, which is a shame. Um there you go. Mission eight done. Let's uh see what happens. Well, we can get this one, though. Power of the Warp. 